In this video, we'll use Inkscape to trace an image of Hello Kitty and convert it to an SVG file for layering vinyl or another material. We will begin by opening the Hello Kitty.jpg file in Inkscape. I'm going to simply drag and drop it from the folder into the workspace and choose Embed. You can also use the File Open operation for this as well. We're going to adjust the size of the image by holding Control and then grabbing the corner and adjusting the size down. It's important to hold control so that your width and height perspective remain consistent. In Inkscape you can use your plus and minus keys to, to zoom in and out of your image. And with our image selected you can see the adjustment boxes around it. It's important to have it selected during this process. Choose the path menu and then trace bitmap. The options you want to use here are colors, deselect the smooth, and select the remove background and stack scans options. We typically want to count the number of colors we have first. So one, two, three, four colors in this image. So we'll start at four scans. Click the update button and you should get a preview of your image. If I had selected three scans, you'll notice the nose is not the proper color. So I typically will incre increment that number and click update until my image resembles the original. If this isn't working for you, your image may not be high enough resolution. So if your image has a lot of shading or pixelization, that is viewed as different colors by Inkscape. So you need to have a good sharp image with the minimal number of colors that you can have. Once I click OK, you'll see the stop button go active for about a second and then go back to OK. If you have an image with 10, possibly up to 15 colors, that process may take a few seconds as well. We can close this box as we no longer need it. And if we grab the image, you'll notice there is one on top. The one underneath is our original image, and we can delete that and get rid of it as we no longer need it. Next, with our image selected, we want to go to Object, Ungroup, and then click off of the image so that nothing is selected. And then when you go back to your image, you should be able to drag off the different colored layers. In this case, we do not need these layers, so we're going to delete them and get rid of them. And next, we'll want to fill in the various areas of Hello Kitty with paint. So we'll go to our paint fill bucket with nothing selected. It's very important to not have anything selected when you change colors. We'll go down here to our color palette and we'll choose a bright pink color for the outfit. And I like to zoom in while I fill the colors. It's important to have the entire area on the screen when you fill it. So if it's like this, you cannot fill this area properly. So you need to have it all on the screen and click on it to fill it. Now we'll do the bow. We'll zoom back out. And you'll see when I go back to my selector, each of these are now selectable objects. So I'll draw a box around these while holding my shift key. I'll select the outfit, and now you'll see that all the pink pieces are selected. I'll go to Path and Combine. That gives me all one item that I can keep together, yet move it around at free will. Next, with nothing selected, I'll go back to the Fill Bucket and get yellow, and we'll zoom in and color in Hello Kitty's nose. Now, here's an important thing to note. Hello Kitty is, of course, white, but this image, these white spaces are actually transparent. So what I like to do sometimes is to grab a rectangle box and draw it, maybe change it to a color that I'm not working with to avoid confusion, and then go to Object, Lower to Bottom. That way I can see what areas I need to fill in. 
So again, with nothing selected, I'll go to the paint bucket and get white. We'll zoom in and fill each of these areas. And now we have a completely colored in Hello Kitty, but we're not finished yet. We'll go to our selector tool. And we need to select all the white areas by holding the shift key. And go back to path and combine again. And as you can see, that keeps everything together in its proper place. Now, I'll move this over to the side. And we'll move all the color pieces out that we have filled in. And we want a nice, solid, flat color for our layer. So black is going to be our base layer. The important thing to remember is that you could, not, you could of course, cut this out of black, but you would never be able to lay your vinyl or other material in there perfect where they, you have those edges. There's no need to. We just need to fill this in with solid black. So with this frame selected, we get a path, break apart, and then not clicking on anything else, we go to Path, Union. And that gives us one solid piece. We can move these pieces back where they belong. We can get rid of the square we were using. We select the entire image and go to Object, Group. And we save this. as a plain SVG file. And now if I go into Design Space and I upload images, I could choose Vector Upload. And open the Hello Kitty file we just saved. It looks good in the preview, so we'll save it. And we'll insert it into our workspace. Now if I look at my layers, you'll see that I have a white layer, yellow, pink, and black. We'll adjust the size down a bit. And when I click Go to cut, you'll see that we have our separate color panels as we would expect. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.